Hey guys, hey, it's the Consummate Outdoorsman here. We're up here in the summertime, Michigan. Yep, and uh, we got us a uh, section one lake, and we're gonna be doing some, some fishing, some bass fishing, and whatever, we're gonna use worms and bobber. Hey, we'll see you in a little bit. You know, the bass right now, they're, um, they're on the beds and they're breeding, so we're not gonna keep anything, but they're so much fun to catch that you gotta let it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's okay, just let him run. Let him run. Wanna back the boat around. Let him wear himself out. That's a big smallmouth. Yes. There's a, there's my other bobber. They're probably together. Maybe I got it. Well, that's bobber. That's your bobber right there. That's a big bass. So, easy, 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 easy. easy. Much bigger. Okay, reach down and get him. Reach down. And Reach down and get him. Reach down. Put your lip. Put your, put your thumb in his mouth. Put your thumb in his mouth. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Look at there. <laughs> love it. I love it. Way to go. Look at that baby. Turn it. Turn it sideways. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna throw mine back. All right. Hold still. Nice. There you go. Gonna let him go now. All right, he's gonna let him go. Let him go. You wanna measure him real quick? Okay. Good job. Yep, there you go. Nice job. There you go. B five. B five. Boom. There you go. That's pretty cool. Here it goes. Pontoon plane. And then Gene got another fish. That little rock bass. Yeah. Good little rock bass. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, a little adventure with this fish. So, if you'll see right here, this is the bobber fish that we caught early. We, I caught him a while ago and he broke off. So, I snagged him with this other one right here. <laughs> so, we got our bobber back and we caught our fish. So, very, very cool. Kind of a, just an exciting day. You know, this is the kind of adventures that you just love to love to have. It's like I said, these bass are on the beds, and uh, so we're going to put them back. They're really aggressive right now, so uh, big old female, we'll put her back. Hey, get outside and enjoy. So the story behind that la the, the fish there, this fish, is we were fishing, and we first got out here, and I got a nice big bass, and he broke me off. Well, we watched the bobber pop up a couple different times throughout here, and they're going back, and like I said, she's going back to the bed. Um, so we just watched it, watched it, and then I caught, we caught a couple fish. Gene caught a great big fish, which is sitting on the same bed. So they're in this bedding area. And what happened was um, we seen it pop up, and I threw my little bitty lot bobber right over over the top of it, and I and I got the other bobber, got it right here by the boat, and got them both. And I actually had another fish on that was on the this yellow line. And so I got them both up here, snagged, got the one up and picked him up, thumbed him up. So we'd let him go, make sure, but we gotta get those bobbers back. <laughs> today once again just fishing and I wanted to kind of go over what we're using and how we're setting things up and so I got my wonderful wife here out today and, and I want to show you a little bit about her setup there so just a simple spinning rod and bring it up here and so you can kind of see we're just fishing a couple feet off the bottom or off, off top of the water excuse me I'm thinking ice fishing and just got a little chunk of worm on a little bitty brass hook and put a little sinker up there probably nine ten inches above the water and just just throw it out there and, and that's that's the key to just having a good day is getting out there and fishing let's see if she can like land one here in just a second while we're talking 
but you know you take your family out fishing and this is where it's lots of action lots of fun because your bobber's gonna be moving even though they're little bitty fish it's gonna be fun even in the, you know we're in the year of the covid right now year of the the virus and i think that we're now at the point where we should be getting out and enjoying all the things we're social distancing and everything but so i just wanted to uh kind of let you know what we're doing and having a good time all right thanks a lot nice big old bass Okay, now bring him up and reach down. And just stick your stick your lip. Right the lip. Good job. Look at there. Yeah. Shout out to old Michael Wayne, the brother. <laughs> Good. Nice catch and release. Yep, beautiful fish. Put him back. That little male. So, all right, guys. Hey, Consummate Outdoorsman, we're going to wrap this up. It's been a great day. We've probably caught 40 something fish. You know, everything from bluegill, sunfish, rock bass, largemouth bass, everything in this lake. They just a great take. And we also seen a, a beautiful loon and a loon's nest. And they also have an artificial habitat here for loon nesting, which is a floating nesting thing. It's really cool. I'll put a picture up here in a second. So, uh, get out, enjoy everything, enjoy the outdoors. We love you. Thank you so much for watching. 